Hey everyone, Psycho Yasin here, and today I'm doing a speed painting of a girl. I kind of want to do a girl in like a, not like a hundred percent sure what she's gonna look like, but I want, or I wanted, because recording after the fact. Um, but uh, I wanted something with like maybe a girl with some kind of stuff, either growing out of her or something weird. I don't know why I was in some weird mood. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm doing that and just starting with a sketch and uh, I'm doing this sort of the way I would do card art in terms of the process with like a, a background that's got some value to it and then a drawing and stuff like that. So anyway, I haven't done this process in quite a while uh, because I'm not a huge fan of rendering, but you know, I kind of sometimes I just want to try my hand at painting. So anyway, um, one of the main reasons I'm doing this video using this is because uh, I wanted to uh, do a review of Coolerus. Uh, they sent me, so for people who don't know, uh, Coolerus is the people that make the color wheel. See on the right there's like that triangle with the color wheel around it. Some people have asked me, you know, what that is. That's, uh, that's a Coolerus color wheel and uh, they invited me to to uh, be part of the beta and try out the new version because they just released a new version Coolerus 2 and it's got a whole bunch of fancy cool features and then they're like oh could you do a review of it on your youtube channel and i figured like eh, okay so I'm, i guess this is my review um i like it <laughs> i don't know it's, it's good it's got a lot of features that i like and uh, I asked them if they could uh, give my viewers some kind of discount on the product if I'm going to do a review. kind of want you guys to get something out of it. And uh, they did. They offered like 15% off. So if you're going to get it anyway, like me, like I'm, I use it. And so I'm not saying you need to get it or you should get it or shouldn't get it. I just use it anyway. And so, I mean you get it for cheaper is good so in the description I'll put a, a code thing that you can get 15% off if you purchase it um, so yeah now I'm doing or back to the girl um, I'm adding lots of color variation and I sort of when I was doing my iPad screen painting I came across this thing of using like an airbrush and making it big and going over big areas like not just the figure but the figure and the background and it made things cohesive and I guess what I was doing is really just adding atmospheric perspective and so when I'm doing this um, trying to keep that in mind I'm adding a bunch of different colors and uh, low opacity and I'm not changing the opacity of the brush I just you know use a big brush and press lightly on the, the tablet and uh, use that to create a whole bunch of subtle variations and um, things in in the skin tone the hair uh, the background so it's it's much more dull and I'm going crazy here with colors just I'll, I'll knock it back because I, I do recognize that that's too strong and she looks kind of um, like a tramp but uh yeah it's a uh, it's a case of yeah, there. Knocked it back. So it's just barely there, but some of those color variations are still there. Yeah, now I'm adding accent darks. So what accent darks are, are it's, it's occlusion shadows, basically. It's places where the light cannot get in. And I like to save my really dark areas for these places. Like, I don't make big areas of dark. You could. That's not a, a bad thing. But I like to just save my highlights like the really bright highlights and the really dark darks I like to just have them in small amounts and I view it a little bit like spice spices in food you know maybe your salt and pepper or I don't know but you just want to use it sparingly and uh, it adds a lot so if you don't have it then the foods gonna be bland and if you have too much, then it's going to be gross. But if you have just enough, then it's fine. And with this piece, I 
I honestly I painted so many different ones before I did this one because it just wasn't working out. Um, I was painting and I had this vague idea like I want a girl and I want stuff. Maybe it's armor or something. I wasn't exactly sure what, but some stuff sort of on her, but also like sort of implanted or something under the skin or on top of the skin. And so that was my rough idea. And I did a bunch of different ones and I was like, oh, this is not working. And usually when I just keep having failure after failure, um... I tend to just be like, I'm not feeling it today. Maybe I'll go move on to something else. But I really didn't have the choice in that because uh, I wanted to get this out for the uh, the review thingy. And so I just kept painting and then deleting it and then repainting from scratch and then deleting it and repainting from scratch. And in this one, it was like, it's good enough. It's good enough. But um, it was a really good experience, actually, to to just have to do that because the mindset I had was that I have to get this done. So I think this one took an hour and a half, but there were some that were like 40 minutes or an hour. And then it's like, it's just not good. So uh, delete, get it and like that time is gone, but then just do it. And I knew somehow I just knew like, well, eventually it's gotta be good, even if it's by accident. And I, yeah, I think it's a, it's interesting. It's an interest for me anyway, because I'm really like a lazy and not too patient person. So when things don't work out, I'm more inclined to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, do something else. Like maybe <laughs> things won't work out and then I'll be like, well, but I did a drawing, so that I guess I'm allowed to do something fun. Maybe, or, or maybe I'll be depressed, and then it's like, well, okay, I'll I'll make myself feel better by watching a movie or something. Um, and I mean, I don't always do that, but I but it, before I would, and you know, in this case, it was just yeah. Because um, usually, I mean, you have when you have obligations like a job or something then yeah, you do have to do things you don't want to do. Um, but I haven't been working on stuff like that for a while. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm in a period right now where I'm not doing things I don't want to do. I'm just doing stuff I kind of do want to do. And the secret, I think, for that is just that uh, <laughs> I don't have much expectations. Like, if you're okay with being slightly poor, then it's fine, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> but if you need to make money, then it's more a case of like, uh, oh, like if you have to support someone, then yeah, you have to take jobs you don't want to take and do things you don't want to do. So I think it's all about, you know, there's a cost to everything. So maybe I'm losing out in some ways, but I'm winning because, uh, or at least I get to do what I want to do. Anyway, so here we go. I, I decided upon maybe it's just crystals, like gem crystal things growing out of her. And so at first I was just painting them, but it's like for for crystals you need a sharp edge. You need contrast, so that's why I'm using the lasso tool to select around them so I can get uh, the sharp edges. And before anyone asks me, like, do a crystal tutorial, I really don't know what I'm doing. Like... <laughs> I am just, all I do is, all I know really is, um, okay, with with crystals or gems or shiny things, they usually have a lot of contrast between the different planes. And the planes are, sometimes they're flat color and sometimes they're gradient. And then where the light hits, you're going to get a highlight. Uh, so the planes facing the, the light are going to get a highlight. And then behind that, so the light hits the 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 surface of the crystal thing and it reflects to our eye but then some light also passes through the object and so the opposite side of the crystal is gonna get lit up so that was basically the philosophy I had and I just followed that and it's like yeah it kind of looks like crystals I guess so it's fine um, and this is 
there's so much noodling, much more noodling than than I've been doing lately because I've been drawing. Um, and with drawing, especially when I'm doing traditional, you don't get to just play around as much. And so I guess what I realized with this is a lot of effects that look very cool, like even what I'm doing right now with the color dodge and stuff, it looks cool, but it's not hard. It's It's kind of, I don't know. It's nice that you can make cool effects, but it's also like, wow, I really thought this was hard, but it's not that hard at all. Um, I think drawing is, is the hardest thing, and painting is not hard at all. Or not, not hard at all. It is hard, a little bit hard, but not close to as hard as drawing. And when you can draw, then pretty much you can paint. But, I mean, it's still more complicated. Like, that's, that sounds easy to say, and it's, it's probably a bit oversimplistic, because the reality is, I was forgetting everything. When I was doing this, I was like, like, here, I'm doing the ear. I've drawn thousands of ears, probably, and I feel like I could do ears in my sleep, but I was struggling, because it felt like all the knowledge was, was gone suddenly. Um... Just, I couldn't think straight and it's like wait what what does this look like again and um, I think a common fear artists have is this especially artists that use intuition is I've heard they're afraid they're gonna wake up one day and just not know how to draw because <laughs> it's almost like you're not consciously doing it you just go on autopilot and then that's the pictures get made and you sort of know the theory, but at some point you're not really thinking about the theory. You're just doing it based on muscle memory. And uh, your, your right brain sort of takes over and handles things. So that, that was an issue um, I was having where it's like, wait, how do you, how do you draw these things again? Um, and this is annoying, but it's happened to me even with anatomy where I will study for like two weeks or three weeks to do an anatomy tutorial for YouTube. And then a few months later, I'll be drawing that thing and I've forgotten everything. Um, and I guess the good thing is I can go back to my own tutorials and uh, remember what it looked like. But still, it's a case of like, it's crazy how you can just forget these things and you feel like, wait, don't I, aren't I supposed to know this? Now, the good thing is you, you relearn it much faster. Um, but if you're not constantly doing these things, it is easy to forget, especially when you're under pressure. Now, I, I had this idea that maybe I could try a different color scheme. And because of the way the composition was, I thought, oh, could I do like the really cheesy symmetrical composition where they're just side by side? And I guess <laughs> I did. I don't know. So I couldn't decide which I liked more, so I just kept both of them. And yeah, hoped it helped. Hope you try out Coolerus if you haven't, and thanks for watching.